And hello again, Internet. I'm doing a bit of an impromptu special episode today, thanks to the Diablo 20th anniversary and the cross-promotion Blizzard is doing with its various games. I'm going to run through the Darkening of Tristam event in Diablo 3, which is basically they kind of recreated the original game within this one. It's not exact. I've already run through it once. It's pretty fun. I thought I'd go through it with you guys. Now, this is going to be uploaded to YouTube immediately today, which means you're going to be able to see this. For those who are watching on YouTube, before you see my current playthrough of Deus Ex Invisible War, which means I'll probably going to have to address the Funhouse thing. Thank you, Adam of Funhouse, for featuring my video of the playthrough, at least the first part, of Excalibur 2555 AD. I'm sorry you had to watch that video, because it was awful, one of my worst, but eh, it's kind of what I do. I just play games and be an idiot. Eh, it's fun. Why not do it in front of a camera? Well, not so much a camera, but, you know, record my playthroughs. So I thank you for that. I'm glad to see all the new people there. Uh, I did talk about it a little bit more in the other stream for Deus Ex. So if you want to check out my real thoughts on that, check that out. I'll probably talk about it a bit during this today. At any rate, what I'm trying to do here, you can see you got a mostly naked bearded man. I'm going to be going for this achievement. I want to get the Butcher Pet, which is an eerie red glow blows your vision. I have to kill the Dark Lord in a Diablo solo, or excuse me, in a solo game, starting with a level one character. Level one, brand new character here, and I am showing off my various game stuff: Overwatch, Overwatch. I guess it's all Overwatch stuff. I don't really need that banner back there, but whatever. In fact, let's switch the banner real quick. Lots of cosmetic stuff in this game, which they've done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one because it looks awesome even though I totally don't need that. Okay, let's run into the game. We are on a Torment 6, which is probably going to end up getting me killed right away, and I will have to drop the thing. And we will take a look here. This is a brand new, fresh character. I did set my Paragon points. I have about 400 levels, as you saw. Most of those came from Season 5. I've done the various seasons in this game, but I don't play it that much. Really enjoyed Season 5, though. As you can see here, I've decided to max out the ones that you can max before worrying about those, which is probably a bad idea, but hey, that's my bad idea. What can I say? I'm full of bad ideas, so let's do this. I've got no gear. I've got nothing. We're just going to go straight over here and see how quickly I die. Run right into the event, bypass all the enemies. You have to be in adventure mode for this, remember. Now, don't adjust your screen. Everything did just get blurry. They put a blur filter over the game. You got higher, lower resolution. And you can see the characters, they even changed the walk animation to be back to the old style. Oh, it is great. Now, I'm not a speedrunner. I'm going to run through it trying to kill as much as I can so that I can get some levels and some gear since I am starting, you know, naked and muling. Hey, a sword! Balanced short sword. Is it better than what I have on? Technically, I think it is. So let's use it and start moving. Now, one thing. Now, I've got my volume turned way down, so I actually should, should turn that up real quick here. Sorry about this. I play with the volume down while generally listening to other things. You know, like most people do. Now it might be a little loud, but it shouldn't be on the stream itself. Wow, look at that. One level already. Now you notice they've got the nice old um, bar down there, too. Lash tail kick. Honestly, I love all the things they've done with this. You can find some old gear. You can find um, the gooey has been change to the old one. Wow, I'm leveling fast. Okay, Deadly Reach. Let's go ahead and just throw that on right now. God, it's been a while since I've actually leveled somebody. As I say, I, I've done the seasons in this game. I kind of liked just going through the game every season for the heck of it. Trying to get the rewards and the like. But, other than that, I don't really play this game that often. 
And I have played through all of the classes. I don't necessarily have a favorite because I don't play it often enough to really compare. I just chose Monk for this because I remember that Monk was added not in Diablo 1, but in Hellfire, the unofficial expansion. Which, even if you get Diablo 1 today, you're not going to find Hellfire usually because it was, I believe, released by Activision. It had nothing to do with Blizzard. They don't have rights for it or anything, so they don't distribute it and the like. It's one of those cases, kind of like the expansion pack for Hexen 2. So, God, look at that! Five! Just boom! Level, level, level. This is going beautifully. I have never actually leveled a character on Torment 6 before. Because, again, I usually only play during Seasons, so my first character has no Paragon level. Whereas right now, I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Fist of Thunder... Alright, let's try that. Lashtail Kick. Rather keep that right now. But we'll put that on it. And definitely want Breath of Heaven. Okay. Whoops. Well, I shouldn't have used it right away. So I've kind of forgotten how to play most of these characters. Play too many games to really know how to focus on any one of them. God, I just I love the fact that they brought back. Like, the pixelated look was something that really surprised me when I jumped in. It's like, oh, really? Here I was expecting to actually see what the game would look like with high res graphics. But no, they took that away. They made it all pixely. Which still looks hilarious to me. And the way they've got the colors so that they fade out instead of having as many as there should be. Oh boy, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Nope, nope, that's bad. Okay, yeah, not surviving too well right now. I'm already getting my ass kicked because I'm on level 8 and these things are now much stronger than me and I've not gotten any gear to compensate for the fact that I'm a higher level. I need to go back. And I can't return! Go away! Leave me alone! Yeah, this has been a mistake! I'm gonna have to lower the difficulty here. Gonna try not to! Actually, you know exactly what I'm gonna do? I am going to go... Get out of the way. Get out of it! Oh, crap. I am going to go back to town and try to use a few blood shards just to get chest piece, a weapon, just a few basic things. And I, I'm not trying to get like high level stuff, like, you know, forget the weapon actually. Let's get a chest piece. Well, that's pants. Which I can't wear. Are they all going to be minimum level 11? They are going to be a minimum level 11. In order to prevent exactly what I'm trying to do. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Thank you! Alright, let's try this again and get my ass kicked again. There they are. I mean, if I can't win combat now, I am going to have to lower the difficulty. There's just no way around it. I hope that leaving town didn't mess up my progress on the achievement either. God, look at this. I just, I can't do damage. These things have 4,000 damage. My weapon does nothing. This has been a mistake. So I have to lower difficulty here. Lower, lower, and lower. So I'm on Torment 3 now. It's a little bit better. Don't die. So this is what it looks like when an idiot plays Diablo 3. Can't even get past the first portion. There, that's better though. Torment 3 is a bit better of a level to be at for me. Considering I have no gear! Come on, attack it! 
Now, as I say, Blizzard is doing a cross-platform with all of their games right now. I don't know what they're doing in WoW, since I don't have it. I'm not high enough in... Uh, the card game. Hearthstone. There we go. Not really high enough in Hearthstone to know what's going on there. Alright, now. I am going to put that on this. No. Crap. Okay, first let's get that thing off there. Now, let's move this to the kick. Now, let's move this to the dashing strike. Now, for those wondering how to how you do that, it's one of the things you can add in the game. That's I'm going to show you the option real quick, because there's some of you who've tried playing this game and then found it a little too limiting for what you're allowed to do, but elective mode is the one that you need for that. That lets you choose any skill in any slot, as opposed to being limited to the categories. And that's what makes a huge difference in this game. And I do mean a huge difference, because that lets you have all kinds of flexibility and builds Oh, of course there's all the flavor of the months, which I tend to ignore. Because I like to build my own builds. As far as I'm concerned, that's part of the game. And I'm gonna die again. Ah! Real? Oh my god, it's because I have no... Yeah, that's because I have no... What? Did you, like, not heal me at all? There. You really didn't heal me. You didn't go off. What the heck? Well, I was talking about something. I have no weapon. There we go. So these things are still very hard to kill. Ugh, I should just be on normal. No, she never played normal. Master at the lowest. I never go below that. Even on my fresh, no Paragon Point character, when I jump in the game, I tend to jump in and master. Ah, uh, yes. So, I don't know what Hearthstone is doing. Overwatch, it was pretty lame, to be entirely honest. You log in, you get some spray paints and a character icon, your, your profile icon, and that's it! That's the event. Yay! What? That was it? Really? Nothing? Not even a skin for someone? Anyone? Can you imagine a Roadhog skin as the Butcher? Come on, Blizzard! Get on with it! That'd be amazing! Hook and everything! Ah, uh, well. I mean, even if you have to earn it, that's fine. As long as it's not a gamble thing, as long as you can actually earn it, Kind of like they recently did with Heroes of the Storm, which I don't know if that event is still going on. They had thing where if you played 15 games with friends, you got a skin in Overwatch, and you got Zarya as a permanent hero in Heroes of the Storm. And if you played another 15 after that, you got five more heroes, fairly new ones for some of them, but Kerrigan, uh, was it Melee? Or Mimi, or Lily, or whatever the hell her name is, the panda. Uh, Crookshank, I think his name. See, I'm, I don't play Heroes of the Storm that often either. I played it for this event, and that was about it. I play it for events. I get the free heroes, and then I leave. At least I do that often enough. All right, is anything dropped yet? Come on! I'm gonna be stuck on this first floor forever because I'm that dumb. Well, at least I got a lot of XP just now. And it's still going. Yay! That kill counter down there, I did not want it to end just yet. Because as soon as it ends, I'm going to get a boost of XP. Yeah, I can't turn the damn friends list off. I don't think. Come on, die already! Somebody drop a weapon! 
now I put all these nice little cosmetics on my character that no one can see because it's all pixelated. Come on. Come on. But I, I have run through this event once so far. Just, I used my high level character, ran through it on 10. It was fun. A lot of fun. Went faster than this because that character was already geared out. But again, I'm trying to get the achievement and thus the little mini butcher award. Because the pets in this game, they're no longer just cosmetics. They'll actually go collect the gold for you. Which you may have seen my little skeletal dog over there do that once in a while. And this just came out today with the recent patch. Uh, if you were watching my Diablo or Deus Ex stream, it started patching in the middle of my damn stream, so I had to shut that off. That was fun. My path becomes clearer. Yay! See, that at least does AoE damage. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. That doesn't help right now. And what can I put on here? Movement speed or... Damage you deal reduces gas. Survival. Survival good. Come on, somebody drop a piece of equipment already! Anything! Wait, am I 11 yet? I am! Why have I not put these on? There! I now have a little bit of gear! And yeah, you'll notice that the when things drop, it's all full caps text. Trying to recreate the feel of that original game, which I approve. It's pretty fun. Yay, armor! Is it better? Yes. Nah. Finally, a little bit of progress. Let's go to level two. Yay! So, yeah, as long as I'm just sitting here killing things, let's go ahead and talk about something. The Funhouse video. I did watch it. I thank everyone for commenting on my video about it. I do read the comments. I just don't respond to them usually. At least not on YouTube. Sometimes I will if something really piques my interest. But for the most part, I do read them, though. Because, I'm, you know, I'm not... I haven't been around that long, I'm not that big of a channel, as everyone has noticed since the video had a whopping 29 views beforehand and is over a thousand now, which actually has made it my number one video. The one that formerly was number one was the first part of my Necrodome playthrough, and that's because, surprisingly enough, nobody else that I saw, and I looked for it, nobody else had done a playthrough of Necrodome. Now, yeah, that's a fairly obscure game, which is one of the reasons I wanted to showcase it, but I figured someone, somewhere would have done it. But, no, it seems not. So, that one did at least pick up a lot of views. People were interested in that, and hey, awesome. I don't know really what caused the influx for that particular game. If that one got mentioned somebody somewhere, Nobody on my comments told me about it. But I thought that one had gotten mentioned somewhere because, well, it kind of exploded. It got a few hundred views. Which, for me, that's pretty huge. And then I wake up one day and look at my YouTube, and suddenly one of my videos is getting lots of comments. I'm wondering, well, what's going on? Everyone's talking about Funhouse. Funhouse. Okay, well, what's this Funhouse? Because... You know, yeah, I'm sorry, I had... Okay, that's twice now. My uh, healing has gone on cooldown, but not actually gone off. So... Because you'll notice that my potion went on cooldown. It should have refilled 60% of my life. There's no way I should have lost that right away, that quickly. So that is twice that my cooldowns have gone on without the healing activating, and that's annoying. But anyway, yeah, I had not actually really heard of Funhouse before. I do know Rooster Teeth. Oh boy, do I know Rooster Teeth. I have had, I've got their Blood Gulch Chronicles Red vs. Blue on DVD. I remember when, 
I think it was their second series was Strangerhood, which that was fun back in season one. I guess they're on a new season now, fine, kind of. They started a new season, but only got four episodes in. And, of course, they've also got some fame now for Ruby, which is another good show. Oh, yes, I love Red, um, Red vs. Blue and Rooster Teeth. And while I only have the first five seasons on DVD, the uh, Blood Gulch Chronicles, season six, in my opinion, has some really good sci-fi. I love the uh, reveal about the artificial intelligence's identity. That was quite nice. Quite nicely done. So I was quite pleased to see that they had seen one of my videos. This million subscriber channel. Ha <laughs> ha! Quite the signal boost. And of course, they in turn, you know, ah, I spread this all around. Hey, look, this video mentions me. Yeah, they had like six extra views because of that. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm sure they noticed. <laughs> but this is pretty much what I do. I play video games. Sometimes I act like an idiot in the video games. Like I have been in Deus Ex. Oh my god, that game. It's get, it gets me so bored at times, I just start throwing corpses at the ceiling and cause the game to crash. Because it does. Because anything causes that game to crash, it looks like. Oh! I don't know why I do this to myself. But I hope to be entertaining. I mean, I like to just listen to podcasts and such, have some background noise while I play games. And I figure, yeah, maybe other people will. Maybe other people will see some of the games that I have that are kind of rare. Maybe somebody will get stuck in the same game that I got stuck in, and I'll be able to help them out. Even though the video they chose to help them out happens to be the one where I freaking gave up because I couldn't find the answer for how to do it with the keyboard. God, that game is bad. Yeah, some friends of mine are also running through this dungeon. But this has to be done solo for the achievement. Ah, dying! No, 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 don't die, don't die! Get out of there, get out of there! No! He died. I'm bad at video games. Dance for me! Oh boy. You can stop dancing now. Go away! So many enemies. Some of you need to just die. There we go. That helped. Did it? Did it, though? Uh, technically. I've got a new skill. Oh, hey! Someone that brings everything toward me! Because that's totally what I need when everything is killing me, is to bring them all closer. Group hug! No, no. Oh, come on! Right as I was pounding the button again. Ugh. It's just going to keep doing this, because the enemies are getting harder and harder, but I have no gear. Nobody is dropping any bloody gear. And if I don't get another weapon soon, I'm just not going to be able to kill things. I'm leveling too quickly. I really didn't think that would happen. I just never thought of that. This is why, like I say, I've never really leveled a character with Paragon Points before, so I have no idea what to expect. Apparently, what to expect is PAIN! LOTS OF PAIN! Oh god, this is gonna take forever. I mean, look at this, I'm doing... I'm doing about 15 damage a hit, he has 15,000 hit points. Do the math! I have to sit here and hit him a thousand times, and I'm going to, because he is an elite, and he will drop a piece of gear, and if I'm lucky, it'll be yellow instead of blue, and if I'm really lucky, it'll be a weapon that I can use, and it won't be a piece of mage armor. Now that I've said that, it's going to be a piece of mage armor. La dee da! I'm gonna start singing. There's nothing else to do right now. But, yeah, if you want to know what games I recommend watching my videos of, I kinda don't. Ugh. I still don't get why people watch me, but eh, why not? Mostly what I do with my recordings is I've got a bunch of video games that I've always wanted to play. 
a lot of older stuff. Unfortunately, there's that nice and wonderful gap between about 1995 and 2001 where video games don't want to freaking work anymore. Because, oh, well, we need Windows 95 machines. We're 16-bit applications, and Windows doesn't run that anymore. And it's very frustrating because I have a ton of games I want to show people. Like, I know some of you have went back and watched my top 10 games of 1996 list. And two of my games on that list are ones that I have tried to get running and not able to. And that is Rocket Jockey, which I again say, if you get a chance to look at that game, check it out. I really wish one of the revivals had actually gone through because that game was so fun for its simple mechanics. And there are a few videos online of it, which I wish I could be one, but it just won't run for me. Another one is Obsidian, which, again, same company, Sega Soft, so more power to them. They had a good year in 96. And that game, Obsidian, is... It left an impression on me. It was a really good puzzle game. And I would love to go through that here. But um, some other games, check out the Realms of the Haunting one. I had to go back and redo one of the days later because Twitch lost the recording. And this is before I figured out how to actually record to my hard drive at the same time. Because when I tried, XSplit was telling me, no, 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 you can't do that unless you pay us. And I'm sitting there going, I'm an amateur schlub. I'm not making any money on this. I don't want to make any money on this right now. I have no production value. I'm not editing. I don't even have pictures on my page. I just have a stream that I set up and talk, and I'll talk to people in the chat room. If you come into the chat room, I, as I say, I read the comments, which reminds me, I have not been doing this for, quote, years, unquote. I saw somebody mention that. No, I actually started doing the recording a little bit less than a year ago. I think it was March, with my first game that I did was Shadowcaster. Because I wanted to show off a lot of games that tried to combine first-person shooting and role-play game elements in what was a core first-person shooter game. Would you hurry up and die? I've been talking for like, what, five minutes now? Oh, God, please drop a weapon, please. Because if you don't drop a weapon, I'm going in town and spinning my shards on one. I don't have a choice. I'm on the second freaking floor and I got no way to kill things. There are 16 floors in this. I can't do it at this pace. Nobody will watch. All right. Yeah, I was doing a, like a little retrospective of games that tried to put RPG elements in first-person shooters. And then, you know, I started with Shadowcaster, worked my way up, and it was a fun little batch. And once I finished that, I decided, well, heck with it. You know, that was fun. It gave me an excuse to play some of these games because it was the first time I played through... Oh, okay, good. Oh, good. Look at that. Are you kidding? The DPS has gone from 6 to 10. Truly, this is an outstanding change. Oh, God. This was a mistake. I should just drop it down to Master. Uh, you know what? I'm doing that. I might just restart the whole dang thing. <sighs> Torment 1. Let's see if I can actually kill stuff now. Because this is absurd! Yes, I know there's a new active slot available. There's nothing I can do with it, though. So if you like Diablo 3, come back. This event goes through the end of January. Oh, come on! Neither one... Look at... They both went on cooldown. Both of them went on cooldown. Neither one healed me. Ah! Oh, that's another thing I do. I scream at my computer a lot. Uh, does this one actually heat everything around me? No, that's Teleport, which is the one that hits everything around me. That one hits everything around me. Good. We'll do the AoE one. Dashing Strike is the one that I want, because I want to get the heck out of Dodge. Yes. That'll hurt people around me. Um, I have no choices there. 
Am I moving to you? No, I'm not moving to you. Okay, let's try this again. And as a note to all my fellow gamers out there, don't start on Torment 6. You can't get the gears to keep up. Torment 1 is fine. Okay, this is the next floor, right? No, this is just Dark Passage. This isn't even the next floor, this is just a bonus area, which I'm gonna go into, because I'm dumb! At least now I'm able to kill things. Come on. Man, I was so excited, a weapon dropped, it's like, yes, yes, finally! Something that's gonna be equivalent to, and no. It's also one of the uh, retro items added to the game. Way of a hundred fists. What the heck is that? These things are still doing too much damage to me. Come on! Or not too much damage to me. They still have too much life versus how much damage I can dish out. This is pathetic. It's been half an hour. This is what I get for not knowing what I'm doing. But if I knew what I was doing, <laughs> why would I play these games? Hey, a chest full of stuff. It's got a ring of truth. That I can't get anywhere near. There we go. I have gear now. And now I'll actually leave this, because that's already the chest. There's, you know what? No, oh, screw it. I'll, I'll wait till these things are dead. Get back here. Get back here and die. Stop run- oh, and, and they brought friends. Of course you brought friends. Why? Honestly, this is making me want to play Diablo 1 again. And if I can get it to work, maybe I will do that for the stream at some point. But I'm still on the sequel block right now, so I'm going to finish the sequels first. At least the ones that will actually run! Okay, gear. Hey, that's better. Hey, that's something I don't have at all. Look at that good old-fashioned ring graphics. Woo! It's great ancient walk animation. Nope, wrong way. La di da di da, killing skeletons. Oh, I've kind of run out of things to talk about. I mean, I could always talk about the other games that I've played, but I'd rather you kind of just watch them. And I'm and I'm streaming at a different time than I usually do. I'm doing an evening special edition stream for this game. And I might record another one of these later on, too. I mean, this is fun. I really enjoy this event. I'm gonna go through it several times. I just, I really wish the Necromancer would come out first, because that was my favorite class back in Diablo 2. And I mean old-school Necromancers. Back when you could summon one skeleton per level of skill. And you could get up to level 30 skill. So I would have 30 skeletons, 30 skeleton mages, my golem, and oh, there'd just be this massive army of death. And then it was real fun when I played it with a friend. And so both of us at the same time as summoning necromancers, oh, everything on the screen was either ours or died as soon as it appeared. Because we just had that much damage going on. It was beautiful. And I know there's people out there going, yeah, you can only use Necromancer, you can only use Summoning on the first skill level. If you try going above that, you just get killed. No, actually, one of the best combos I found early on, they changed um, Thorns, though. But early on, a good high-level Paladin, their Thorn damage would be over a thousand percent. Now, just stop and think about this. You have an army of a few dozen scores of skeletons. 
and every single one of them, as soon as an enemy hits them, the enemy takes back 10 times the damage they dealt. Yeah, there was not a whole lot that was surviving that. Does this give me healing yet? No, it does not. Uh, sweeping... Yeah, let's try that one for now. And a new skill. Do not care. Alright, well, things are going smoothly. More smoothly now. Torment 1. Don't go above that. Because you just don't have the DPS at low levels. Unless you've got a lot more Paragon points than me. Or, more accurately, if you spend them smarter than I do. <gasps> are you guys ready? Because this is it. This is one of the big things, what they included. Unfortunately, I don't have firewall. And how are you supposed to kill this guy if I can't open the door, drop a firewall, and close the door again? Yeah, I did that. What of it? Here we go. Fresh meat. Fresh meat. <laughs> it is the butcher. Oh, yeah. And this guy's got way too much hit points for this. No, I'm doing like 30 a shot. Oh God, I thought that other one took forever. And I love that they basically, is that, did they really just shrink down the version from this game? I think they did. Oh, that's kind of awesome! And of course they hid the fact by having all the pixelization. That's actually kind of cool. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever! Uh, at least you can't really kill me if I'm on my game. Because my, my life on hit now is strong enough to overcome his DPS. So I can pretty much just put my finger on this mouse and walk away if I wanted to. Which would be very difficult to do, because I mean, that'd be one long finger if you think about it. Now I'm trying to open a bottle, but I can't move my hand on the mouse. Ah! Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's not working either. <laughs> oh, come on. All I've done is scuff up my bottle. Open, damn you. There we go. No, no. Talk to the butcher. And you can hear me drinking on camera. Yay! I'm killing this guy. You know, at this point, I am so tempted to just restart this entire stream on expert difficulty. Just to actually get through the game. Because, I, I hate to say it, it's just taking so long on Torment. Because I don't have the skill, or the damage I need. I just don't have the DPS. So, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, do I really want to drop it to expert? No, I don't. But I'm gonna have to, I think. Because I have no DPS. I might... Uh, I think I am gonna restart the whole thing. Is there anyone actually watching me right now? If you are, say something in the chat. This is another thing I do. I uh, fail miserably, and I'll keep the failure video. Oh, you'll see it. It'll be on YouTube. My epic failure, but I'm restarting this. It's just not working. Well, if you are watching live, I will see you again in uh, five minutes or so as I get things set back up. Okay, are you going to let me go to town? No, you're not. So, leave the game. I'm just going to delete this character anyway. 
Alright, well, I'm gonna try again on a lower difficulty and hopefully not get to a point where I just don't have gear. So, this has been a failure! Woohoo! Yeah, we'll try this again. See you soon, Internet!